Hey guys, this is Olive the Art bringing you another video of Genshin Impact, summary of the version 1.6 livestream. As always, check out the timestamp below to go to the part you're interested in directly. Okay, let's go! First, we will have a new character, Kaidahara Kazuha. He's an animal character who uses a sword. He's got a really cool style. Based on the current information, he seems to be a support character, but of course you can also use him as a carry. The new banner will first get a Klee rerun and then the new character Kazuha. There are three new weapons in version 1.6, Freedom Swan, Mitternacht Swords, Dodoko Tales, which is for free by participating in the events in version 1.6. Let's check out what they can do. The new 5 star sword, Freedom Swan. Its secondary stat is Elemental Mastery. Its passive ability is increased damage by 10%. When the character wielding this weapon triggers elemental reactions, they gain a sigil of rebellion. This effect can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds. Can be triggered even if said character is not on the field. When you possess two sigils of rebellion, all of them will be consumed, and all nearby party members will have increased normal charge and plunging attack damage by 16%, and increased attack by 20% for 12 seconds. Once this effect is triggered, you will not gain sigils of rebellion for 20 seconds. This sword looks like a weapon specially designed for the new character Kazuha. Now the new 4-star bow, Mitternacht's Waltz, by the German name and its style, I think we all know is Fischl's weapon. Its secondary stat is physical damage. Its passive is, normal attack hits on opponents increase elemental skill damage by 20% for 5 seconds. Elemental skill hits on opponents increase normal attack damage by 20% for 5 seconds. So it looks like it's a perfect weapon for Fischl if you have Fischl always doing the damage on the field, not in the background. Now the Klee special weapon for Star Catalyst, Dodoko Tales. Its secondary stat is Attack. Its passive is Normal attack hits on opponents increase charge attack damage by 16% for 6 seconds. Charge attack hits on opponents increase attack by 8% for 6 seconds. In version 1.6, we will have another new monster, Magu Kenki. Its mask automatically blocks ranged attacks, so don't think about using a bow to attack him from far away. Magu Kinki's attacks will become animal infused when his HP drops below certain thresholds. Phantoms will also be summoned. The phantoms do animal and cryo damage. Next up, new Archon Quest. In the new Archon Quest, we will participate in Beidou's Clash Tournament to showcase our talents. We will meet Kazuha during our quest, and he will be our guide and give us tips on how to get to the Inazuma area currently on lockdown. So my guess is that we will finally get to the Inazuma Islands in version 1.7. In version 1.6, we will get to explore a whole new area of islands with special waypoints, and you can summon the unique Wave Rider boats. Of course, in the new area, you will have many new world quests and puzzles to solve. And in the new area, we will have our Midsummer Island adventure, rewards including Klee Special Weapon, Nautical Tales, and Northlander Billet Trove that you can use to select any weapon types and more blueprints for your Serenity Pot. The event comes in four stages. The first stage, main cannon, make ready, fire. Pilot your wave rider and shoot cannon to destroy the monster's floating structures. Some structures cannot be destroyed by cannons, so you need to leave the boat and board the enemy towers to battle. The second stage, whirlpool off to starboard, full speed ahead. This is a racing game with sea course and air course. Collect the wave splitter insignia and win rewards. The third stage, Samurai Sighted to Arms, defeat the new monster Marco Kinki. The fourth stage, Harpastum Bombs Loaded, blow them away. Use three types of Harpastum Bombs to clear out nearby monster fortifications. Besides the above mentioned challenge, there are more interesting features and events in version 1.6. In version 1.6, there are new costume features and Jean and Barbara will have their own costumes. Jean's costume is for sale, and you can get Barbara's costume for free by participating in the event Echoing Tales. In the event Echoing Tales, you will gather Echoing Conscious to listen to the hidden stories. As mentioned before, you can get Barbara's costume for free. Event Kaboom Ball Combat. We will be confronting Dodo Fortress, who shoots Kaboom Balls at us. We need to use our Dodo Guards to reflect the Kaboom Balls and deal damage to the Dodo Fortress. Once destroyed, the Dodo Fortress will be refreshed. The more Dodo Fortress you can destroy within a certain time, the better. We can have a team of max 2 person playing together. 
Event Never Ending Battle. This is simple. Choose the difficulties throughout the challenge. Powerful Berserker opponents will emerge among the enemies, and momentum discs will descend upon the field. When you defeat Berserker opponents and use Hapasta to destroy the momentum discs, you will gain momentum. As momentum reaches certain amounts, more buffs will be unlocked to help you to complete the challenge. Event Legend of the Vagabond Sword. This is a domain challenge that you're probably very familiar with already. Select the difficulties and select certain flares or conditions to achieve the highest scores. Next up, we will have three system optimizations. First, new serial navigation function for tracking and navigating to enemies from the Adventure Handbook. Second, new keyboard shortcuts for PC. Press O to access friends screen and L to go to the party setup screen. Three, you can view detailed information about the domains at the domain entry screen, so you will know exactly what monsters are inside the domain and what special combat conditions you will be facing. Next update is about the Serenity Pot. The characters you own can move into your Serenity Pot. As you complete a tutorial quest, you can invite up to 8 characters to your Serenity Pot. While these characters reside in your realm, their character companionship experience will gradually increase. When our adapter energy rank increases, the rate at which character companionship experience is gained will also be increased. Each character will have their own favorite furnishing set. When you place their set, the character will give you a gift and unlock special dialogues. Last but not least, more Inazuma sneak peek! In total, 6 amazing photos were shown. Inazuma really looks amazing, cannot wait to explore this mysterious area. And the person who introduced Inazuma to us is Ayaka. She looks super cute, I already want her in my team! Alright, so that's version 1.6 summarized for you. Let me know in the comment below what content you look forward the most. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more useful and fun Genshin Impact videos. Until next time, bye!